We promised you we would bring back Gloria Allred with one of her clients, Sherry Vill, who says she's a victim of Governor Cuomo, the other very, very big story breaking this week. So thank you so much for joining us, uh, Gloria. Gloria, let, let, me, let me go with you first, if I may. Uh, we've yes. had the benefit of 48 hours or so right now. Is there anything that you're hearing? We're seeing a lot of Democrat politicians, Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, both the, 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 both the U.S. senators from New York, uh, President Biden. We have the benefit of 48 hours now. Is there anything you're hearing that changes the narrative or the dialogue that Governor Cuomo is a creep? Uh, well, uh, it's more than he's a creep. Uh, the question is, is he a sexual harasser? Uh, is he someone who's taken advantage of his position of power and prestige and influence uh, to sexually harass uh, employees and also members of the public? And has he violated state and federal laws? Uh, the answer, according to most people in the Democratic Party, maybe there's somebody I'm missing, so I'm saying most, uh, uh, rather than all, but all of the political establishment, uh, from the president, you know, to the speaker of the House, to the uh, leader of the, the uh, Democrats in the United States Senate, uh, to uh, all the local state people, yeah. is he needs to resign. And that's what my client Sherry Bill has been saying uh, from day one of this. Uh, and now, by the way, it looks as though the New York Assembly Impeachment Committee is wrapping up its investigation because it's done it's done its own, Eric, separate from right. the investigation done by the attorney general. Right, right. And when they wrap it up, well, first of all, he's going to have an opportunity to respond by next Friday. Uh, and then we'll see what the committee does if he doesn't resign. Great, great. Gloria, I want to bring in Sherry Bill. And I want to just point out that you, you make a very, very strong case that there are three lanes in this. There's a lane of impeachment, there's a lane of civil uh, uh, lawsuits and then uh, criminal lawsuits as well. Speaking of the, the civil lawsuit, let's go to, to Sherry Ville right now. Sherry, can you do us a favor and, and take us through what you say happened between the governor and, and yourself? So um, the day that he came down to do a press conference, um, he toured our home. And he was in the home when I went into the home and I had questioned, did he think that we should have to live like this? So he took my hand, he leaned down, he gave me a kiss and he, um, he gave me two kisses, both cheeks. He was leaving the home and he stated, um, you are beautiful. And um, I felt very embarrassed and I didn't know what had just happened. So when we exited the home to tour the side of the home for damages, um, he went on the side with other people. When he came back around the home, he came was approaching me again. And I said to myself, oh no, not him again. Mm -hmm. So he came up to me and again, he gave me um, a kiss on the one cheek and was holding my hand. I could not move. So sure, sure. it was. I, I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine the feeling, uh, the, 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 the defenselessness and the fear for your career. Can you tell us about some of that, that, that it goes beyond being creeped out by a, a, a guy who's hitting on you? But tell us about that feeling of, of helplessness. Go ahead. Yes, it was definitely um, being hit on, like you said, he's definitely creepy. He's not who we all think he is. He's very different when you do meet him. Um, and I also want to add, I mean, he's got a, all these pictures going out that he's kissing other people. Well, first, maybe those were wanted kisses from other people that are in the picture. Mine was an unwanted kiss. Also, when he was there and what he was doing to me, he did not care who was in the room. He was very arrogant. There was his photographer was there. My husband was there. The kids were there. Some of the neighbors were around. He was so arrogant. He didn't care. Like, he is allowed to do this and act this way. Mm -hmm. 
we, we want to continue to talk to you, Sherry and Gloria, as this story continues to progress. And at some point, I think you will probably make a decision whether to file civil charges and in, in bring Governor Cuomo. Very, very quickly, Gloria, can I have uh, 20 seconds or so? What is the plan going forward very quickly, if you don't mind? Yeah, well, first of all, I want to make it clear that the governor should have asked Sherry and or anyone else that he decides he wants to kiss, grab, pull them to him, and kiss, touch, grope, ask for permission. Mm -hmm. Women are human beings. They need to be respected. They need dignity. He didn't ask. And so it was really a forced kiss. And that's what's wrong with it. He should have asked. Mm -hmm. We'll have to see what happens next. Certainly, we will be following this. If Sherry is asked to testify at any point, she's certainly willing to cooperate and do her duty as a citizen. Uh, but uh, he has to be accountable. And so far, Eric, he has not been. We're going to say thank you both very much for sharing your story. Gloria Allred and thank Sherryville. You. Sherryville, our hearts go out. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.